Hi everyone, Gav from Gav Tarantulas. Thanks for joining me again today. Um, this video is just going to be a quick little look at one of the true spiders that I have. Um, the uh, Latin name is, I've got to have a look down here, uh, Latrodectus uh, tredesingutatus. Probably getting that last bit wrong, but definitely Latrodectus, which is a Mediterranean black widow. So she's been doing really, really well. Um, as it's got um, a bit colder, her behaviour seems to have changed. So I've just cracked up the temperature where she is for a little bit and she seems a lot more active now. And um, trying to, I think I'll just show you now. We'll just flip the camera around and we'll just get straight in our talk as I'm going through this one. So there it is. So you can see her literally right there. So let's get straight in. Now, with her previous prey items, I've only managed to catch her eating once or maybe twice. The other times now recently, she's just doing it when I'm not there. Um, but they're starting to build up. And what she's doing is bringing them all into one area. And she's bringing them all into the center here and building them up around the branch, um, which I don't know why. But what we'll do is we'll see if we can catch some footage of her eating. And then I will see if... Um, well, I'll, I'll do the uh, eating first and then we'll just see if she can actually strike and take it because it is fascinating when she does it. So let's see if we can actually catch some action. She's actually out and about because normally, oh, okay, just drop back straight in. Let's see if she can pick up on that. She is aware of the movement. She normally does come up and over the top and then turn the right way up and you can actually see her, but we'll just see what happens. Nope, and it fell down again, so we'll have to get it. Bear me a second. Yeah. She comes. Now this is what I have seen her do. She'll snip array away the web around her prey item. And sometimes there she goes, she's gonna start wrapping up. If it struggles too much, she will bite it, but she'll try and wrap it up for the first part. Let me see if we can catch her going in for a bite. Let me see if I can zoom in actually moving quite quick. She's still not bit it yet, but there you go. You can see she's biting the web. She'll separate the web and she'll bring the food item up to the top right there. Lovely coloration. The reds are really more vivid at the minute. But she's actually biting away quite a bit of web. Now, if you've watched my previous video on this, um, she has like on her web and there's no set pattern to it, but there is anchor points from the top right down to the bottom. So I don't know if that's a prey item touches at the bottom, it springs back up into the web and gets stuck, but I've not actually yet managed to catch that, which I think I should try next time. But Let's just see if we can catch her going in for a bite. Still more web. You can actually see her webbing that out there, that's amazing. Wow. That's just amazing, she's webbing up all over it now. Oh, 
because what I do is um, <clears throat> normally I will feed, I would say once a week, but she does not eat once a week. She eats once every, <clears throat> excuse me, once every two to three weeks, maybe even once a month now at the minute. She won't take any more than that. So once she's fed, when I do my rounds of feeding, I won't feed. I will just try and maintain her enclosure, removing all the dead carcasses everywhere. Um, but literally just spray and she will literally climb to the edge of the plastic and sit there and you can see her drink. But what I'm trying to clear up is this here, but she's managed to stick loads of carcasses all within these two separate twigs. So she's created like a mound. I know it looks like wood, but it's not. And she's put all the dead there for some reason. And for one particular one, there's one at the bottom she killed, she bit, but she didn't want, and she just left that there, so that died. She's a bit choosy. I think because I've had her on these mealworms, if I give her something else, she doesn't seem to like it. Crickets. I may see if I can get some crickets, because I don't like having crickets, if you watch the channel, because they just go everywhere. But I may try and get a cricket just to show you how she feeds with a cricket. It's completely different to this. Um, she doesn't try and wrap the cricket up. She just literally rushes it and just goes straight in for a bite. And she'll bite it numerous times until the crickets, the venoms obviously took effect. And then she'll wrap up. And I've saw her hoist the item right up to a spot and then she'll go sit somewhere else on the web. So she saves it for later. But with this one, I don't think she's actually going to eat this item just yet. It looks like she's wrapping it up tight and then she'll bite it and place this one somewhere as well until she's ready. So she sort of stores her food. Well, I think it's good to get a good look at her with these colours. I mean, she is just beautiful. One of my favourite spiders, jet black, with those red spots. And then if you see the top of the abdomen, which you saw earlier, going down, she's just got a red big line going all the way down. But she is getting quite um, plump now, so she's getting... Um, on in size and you can see her snipping away I still don't know if you can see the fangs but I can literally look at them and see them if I had such a small spider they are quite big and you wonder why they can obviously pierce our flesh but for a dangerous spider they these I find are very very predictable and I always normally know where I'm going to find her or what she's going to do um, now that she's laid all this web she will never come up on top really uh, or try to get out at all so I'm quite comfortable leaving it like this but I wouldn't do um, when you first set them up getting the good anchor points for them and then until they settle in they can come up and out um, but now as you see she's set up her home as you can see there's just this is carcasses everywhere from all the different meals and the anchor points and if you can see that they go right down to the sand, if you can see any of those, there's little like trip wires. But as I said, she's still not even bitten this one. You can actually see her eat. So it almost looks like there's definitely method to um, what she's doing. She's selecting certain strands of the web and attaching it to the one that's pointed to the tip of the mealworm. Others she doesn't want to attach, some she does. So, come on, stop being blurry. I can show you there. That she's actually separating them. She knows exactly what, there you go, she knows exactly what she wants to do. Is this the bite? No, there you go, she's separating it.
Wow, look at that, that's just amazing. There's no bite at all. So she's just got confidence in her silk that the item's not going to move at all. There you go, just carries on snipping away. Show you the abdomen there and you can see what I mean. I mean, look at that. I think she's only molted once in my care. And the malt I couldn't get, I know it's obviously a definite female, but she just took it and stuck it underneath all of that. So it's just in there. There you go, she's detached it there. I just want to see if she's going to hoist it up because I've done quite a bit of filming now. Um, and she's no nearer ready. Normally this does take a bit quicker, but she's laid so many silk lines and webbing, it's taken her a little bit longer. You can actually see it's tangled up on one of her legs. You see that where she's testing it, it's almost if she knows certain strands, if she breaks through them, she will fall. There, she pulled that one, but she didn't pull the one before. There you go, look. You can see the one she clearly left, but all the rest around it, she took off. So she's going in for a bite there. Yep, she got it. Can't give you a clearer shot. She bit that a couple of times then. Oh well, I think that's the, uh, the given. My phone is about to die, so I'm not going to be able to see that go up in there. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Some great footage there. Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.